because on the steps there was a statue of George Washington, the first president of the United States, because that's the site where he swore his oath for the first time, and that was on a Thursday, April 30th, the year was 1789. Now, we the stone building that's sitting upon the pier. This is the downtown heliport where big wheels of the stock exchange and diplomats can come to town. And even the president of the United States can come to town. Helicopter bound. You know, you can take great tours in the air from here, and you can see all the sights by a way that's known as the New York or the Liberty helicopter flights. Now, notice the ferry terminal that we are about to pass. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six slips, and it was just recently renovated, and even the entrance is glass, and from Manhattan to Staten Island, everyone can commute on a huge orange boat that has a loud sound toot, where the boat runs 24 hours, 7 days a week, and it departs Manhattan every 30 minutes after rush hour peak, and it goes past Ellis Island and the Statue of Liberty, and it gives you great views of the Verrazano Bridge, that's the highest bridge in the city, but the best part of the trip is something that you cannot see, this is not the Staten Island Ferry, absolutely free. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now going past the Staten Island Ferry. The Staten Island Ferry is a big started out from an 11-year-old little boy who had a rowboat. He would guarantee his passengers to safety by rowing them all the way across the harbor to the borough of Staten Island. Well, the idea caught on and it grew and it grew and it grew. And now if you look over the left-hand side of the boat, see that big